Welcome, my friends. According to a report from the information in December 2023, Google is considering laying off up to 30,000 employees. The report states that Google's growing reliance on AI is the reason for the potential workforce reduction. The report also suggests that the layoffs will be part of a strategic move to incorporate AI into various aspects of Google's business processes. If you follow this channel, you already know that layoffs were basically in full-on mode in technology companies earlier this year. Now this big new layoff by Google seems to be kicking off round two of tech company layoffs. In fact, there has been so much layoff news that I have had difficulty finding time to cover anything else. You have heard about the 50% layoff at Twitter, the 11,000-person layoff at Meta, and the 18,000-person layoff at Amazon. And if you follow this channel, you already know that everyone has been waiting for the layoff shoe to drop at Google. Well, my friends, Google is no longer the gravy train that it has been. The rest and vest days are over. Google CEO Sundar Pichai announced that the company will lay off 12,000 employees. Also, if you follow this channel, you know that a major activist Google shareholder is demanding layoffs. Activist investor TCI Fund Management holds a $6 billion stake in Google parent company Alphabet. TCI told Google CEO Sundar Pichai that both salary expenses and headcount must come down. According to TCI, this must be done using a much more aggressive action than by stealth layoffs. TCI has made the case that compensation and headcount at Google are just way too high. Much higher, in fact, than at other companies in the rest of Silicon Valley. This video continues our coverage of the new wave of layoffs sweeping the United States and the newly announced layoffs at Google. But before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. And before we continue, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is ProWorldNet.com. ProWorldNet.com is a job website specifically dedicated to licensed professions. Doctors, including any type of specialty. Nurses, and that includes all grades of nurses. Lawyers, regardless of area of legal focus. Teachers and professors, from kindergarten through graduate school, as well as any kind of job that requires a government license or certification. And ProWorldNet.com also includes short-term gig-type jobs as well. So be sure to check out ProWorldNet.com if you are looking for a job or an employee. Google's CEO has said that the decision has had a significant impact on employee morale and is one of the most difficult decisions for the company. The report states that Google is planning to reorganize a large portion of its 30,000-person ad sales unit. The report also suggests that Google needs fewer people in their ad sales units because AI is doing their job. For example, the new AI program will be able to scan a customer's website and generate relevant keywords, headlines, descriptions, images, and other assets. This means that the Google Ads chatbot will play the role of both designer and sales expert. Google is planning to implement AI internally that might actually lead to what people feared the most, AI taking away human jobs. The restructuring is primarily going to impact the ad sales team because Google has been exploring the benefits of leveraging AI for operational efficiency. The integration of AI in customer care services of Google is directly going to affect human-centric jobs in the department. Google has been focusing a lot on AI advancements with announcements like Gemini and Google Bard. However, it looks like the company is also planning to implement it internally. That might actually lead to what people feared the most, AI taking away human jobs. Google may potentially lay off 30,000 employees soon across its ad sales division, reported the information. Sean Downey, head of ad sales for major accounts in the U.S., reportedly revealed in a meeting that Google is planning to reorganize its ad sales team but did not mention any layoffs. The report indicated that AI is also set to make a significant shift on the operational front that might lead to job cuts. The restructuring is primarily going to impact the ad sales team because Google has been exploring the benefits of leveraging AI for operational efficiency. Notably, back in May this year, Google had announced new AI-powered ads that feature natural language conversational experience within Google Ads, designed to jumpstart campaign creation and simplify search ads. Google said its new AI could scan your website and generate relevant and effective keywords, headlines, descriptions, images, and other assets making the Google Ads chatbot one part designer and one part sales expert. The inclusion of AI in the customer care service of Google is directly going to affect the human-centric jobs. The report also revealed that Google is planning to streamline its workforce, including through potential layoffs, to reassign employees in its large account sales division who oversee partnerships with major advertisers. 
it is revealed that the openings are being replaced under the impact of automated productivity of Google's new AI tools. Google had fired 12,000 employees at the start of the year 2023. Talking about these layoffs, Google CEO Sundar Pichai stated, This has been a challenging time for any organization. At Google, we have not faced a comparable juncture in 25 years. We recognize that if we had not taken action, it would have led to more adverse outcomes down the line. It would have lingered as a significant burden on the company, particularly amidst the global shifts we've witnessed this year. A report from The Information said that the recent AI developments will lead to significant job displacement at Google soon. The tech company is planning to automate certain jobs in the ad sales and customer service department. The report said, the decisions to lay off certain number of employees were reportedly discussed during a department-wide Google Ads meeting. This comes after Google had unveiled its new era of AI-powered ads, where Google was introducing conversational ads. The AI ads initiative by Google will give access to artificial intelligence for scanning websites and automatically generating keywords, coming up with headlines, images, and other aspects of the advertisement. AI tools have gained major popularity in the last few years with Google's own artificial intelligence division, Google AI, conducting multiple researches and studies on how to smooth out functioning of the company through AI tools. After one whole year of the company's biggest layoff, CEO Sundar Pichai recently opened up to what led to the difficult decision and how has the company been performing since. Pichai said that after the layoffs, morale has taken a major hit. However, Pichai defended the layoffs by saying that if a certain amount of people weren't let go, it would have been a worse decision down the line for the firm, describing the decision as difficult but necessary. The Google CEO said, It would have been a major overhang on the company. I think it would have made it very difficult in a year like this with such a big shift in the world to create the capacity to invest in areas. But what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.